finally the end of the day. I finally made it back to my room. I think I'd just like to collapse here and just never move again. Though, I've got to get up within a few hours. And then I'll... No matter. At least I'm finally alone. I don't think I could stand to be down there anymore. With everyone staring at me again. How many months has it been? Three? Four? I don't... I don't remember anymore. What does it even matter? The dates are just melding together at this point. Every day is the same. It's all the same. Wake up. Clean. Get beaten. Clean. Get berated and then just... Sleep. Start it all over again. Has every day so... Tiring like this? I feel like I've never worked harder. Avari hasn't even bothered to speak to me, but I... I hope she's okay. She's probably heartbroken about Marquis Rain. And, well, at least she isn't bullying me any longer. Perhaps she'll learn from this. Mother and father worked me so hard every day. I thought they would have let up a little once I agreed to the marriage. When I was a maid at the Aeronome estate, they never hit me like this. And even when I made big mistakes, he would never hurt me. And I guess the Grand Duke and Duchess did sometimes punish me. Even then, it was probably just a few slaps to the wrist and nothing more. I think. That reminds me. I should probably bandage my wounds from today. One more night. And this will be over. Then I am to become a wife. The Countess of Fetris of all things. Well, at least Earl Vetris is a seemingly kind man. Kinder than my own parents, it seems. His children have been very kind to me as well and respectful. Despite some being a bit older than me. Which is still rather odd and gross to say. I'm glad, though, that they seem to openly have any qualms about me. <sighs> Earl Vetris is well known for his kindness. Taking me without a dowry is more than kind itself, really. And if everything I know about him is true, then I shouldn't have to worry about a thing. He surely wouldn't beat me as terribly. Not the way they do. <sighs> it's okay. Now, where did I put the extra bandages? Oh, it seems like I'm out. I suppose it should be fine. I'll be wanting to clean the wound, though, so that it doesn't get an infection. Mm. To think. Of course, they'd hit me in spots where you wouldn't be able to see the wounds. Mother pays attention now, unlike before. She wants to hide it. But I doubt they'll heal within a day's time, unless she really pays for a healer. What if she doesn't? What am I to say during our wedding night? If he asks questions, 
Did I tell them of my parents' actions? Would he even believe me? I'm sure Mother would deflect and say that I'm lying. And, uh, my head hurts. I really haven't been feeling well. Perhaps I can request our old mattress for the medicines that the ladles used to give me. These aches have only been getting worse since I've run out. It's almost like everywhere I look, everyone is just enveloped in these dark colors. Maybe I'm just simply tired is all. I do get back to the attic by the time the moon is high and wake when the sun is yet to even rise. I'm just tired. That's all. But I'll be fine. The bruises just aren't getting any better, are they? Still tender as ever. I'm sure he would have a fit if he ever saw me hurt like this. Just like when we were little. He'd be rushing to my side whenever I got the smallest of wounds, and whenever he accidentally let go of that silly little practice sort of his. I... I wonder where he is now. I'm sure he must have given up on me by now. <laughs> of course. Right? <laughs> I wish I could have fought for us. That I'm too weak to do anything. That I... I should have fought for us. I should have done something. Anything. But I... I couldn't put his future in danger. Not for someone as lonely as me. I wish I could just see his face right now. I miss him. I miss him so much. I miss his silly little smile and the blue roses. I hope he's eating well and sleeping well and God knows he must be overworking himself again. I, I just want to be close to him, to hold him and to have him hold me. And I would do anything to sit by his side again. Listening to him rambling on about the war and different magical applications and stupid paperwork he has to do. I just tell myself this to make it feel better, but he probably hasn't moved on. He's too stubborn. And I haven't moved on. So, if I know him, he couldn't have given up on me yet, right? <laughs> oh, Minea, you can't. You'll be a married woman in a few days. <laughs> but, but, I... I just miss his company so much. But now you, you can't, you can't keep entertaining such thoughts of what could have been. Why must the gods be so cruel to us? Have I ever done anything so wrong as to deny me this of all things? Was being in love with someone like him too much? Have I not been through enough already? I know the world is unfair, but will you just grant me a moment of solace? <sighs> Perhaps some things really aren't meant to be. We weren't meant to be. These hopes and 
some dreams of mine have been crushed enough, but I, but I still continue to only hurt myself more by thinking of such heartbreaking things. I need to suppress these emotions and these memories if, if I'm to be a good wife, if I'm going to be a good daughter and a good mother. And I suppose I'll, I'll see him at the ceremony once more and then, and then it'll be all over. I will only continue to think of him. And the hole in my heart only grows bigger as the days pass. These feelings will never fade. It is impossible to let him go when he is all I want and wish for. I... I wonder if he is looking up at the stars tonight. At least, I shall be brought comfort that we will sleep underneath the same sky, no matter what lives we may lead. But still, can I really live such a lie? To love another man while wed to another? I... It is no use to be thinking about it. To wallow in such pain... This is the best for him, right? It was never good enough for him. <sighs> enough of this. My wounds are a bit clean up now, at least. I should get some rest. A big day is upon us, after all. Imagination. I think that I must be more tired than I thought I was. Perhaps this place is becoming creakier. It couldn't have been the floorboards, though. I've yet to even shift my weight upon the boards. Maybe it could be the wind outside? But, uh, how odd. Mm, it is probably nothing, right? Uh, I suppose I, I could check to make sure. It is making me a tad uneasy. Perhaps I should check if the window is locked. Surely no intruder would bother climbing up this high, right? Uh, I'm being silly. Minea, you're, you're being such a silly worrywart again. It's just the wind. Wind. The trees aren't moving or shifting outside at all. It couldn't have been... No. The magic. It, uh, it, it wouldn't hurt to check, would it? <gasps> My lord, is it you? Truly, what are you doing here? <gasps> Come in quickly before anyone sees you. Careful of the ledge. <laughs> Sorry. I just didn't. I just didn't want you to fall, but I suppose we did anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so insanely bizarre. I, I can't tell if I want to laugh or cry, really. I. Are you okay, my lord? I know you get sick using your magic sometimes. <laughs> I'm 
I'm relieved. I'm so deeply relieved. You have no idea. I'm glad you're okay and that you're, that you're here with me. This isn't some sort of hallucination from lack of sleep, is it? <laughs> Your hand. It's so warm. I can smile, my lord. You're real. <laughs> You're finally real after all this time. <laughs> I missed you. I wanted you. And, and you're truly here. <laughs> I don't care anymore about rank or station or whatever the appropriate thing is. I just... Please, be close to me. I... I just want to feel your warmth and take you in again. I, I was just so scared that you've made it all feel better. The relief I feel, it is unlike any other feeling. You are here with me now, and there is nothing I wish or desire. Nothing else. Just, just hold me. Out of all my desperate wishes, I just wanted you to hold me. So please, just take me in your arms. It is like all the gravity of this world is gone. I feel so light with you here. No, don't worry about me. I can see it in your eyes. I know. I don't look in the best of conditions, do I? <laughs> it isn't good. Yes. They've been... They've been treating me quite awfully. As you can see. <laughs> the wounds... It even bleeds through my clothing. Do not fret. I suppose our little tumble opened them up once more. <laughs> hey, no. It's okay. I'm alright. Really. I'm used to it. It's normal. <laughs> oh. Mother. Mother threw a table knife at me after I spilled something today during the meal. It's not very deep. It'll probably heal soon. No, oh, oh, please, calm down. I, I know, with your heart, you could not stand to see someone you love in such pain. Just, just think about this moment. <laughs> just think about us together. That's all I want you to focus on. Uh, well... Are you sure you're not feeling sick? <sighs> okay, then. If you wouldn't mind it, it would certainly be better if you could heal it a little. <sighs> Thank you, my lord. Just... <sighs> you have no idea. How often I've dreamed of you. God. It has truly been awful and difficult without you. I'm surprised I can even bear to crack a smile anymore, but... Uh, apologies. Also, my room, it is... It is rather shabby, is it not? Oh... Indeed, this is where I once lived and now live again. I, I told you of it during our 
little adventure during the rites of Kaish. Indeed. <laughs> you remember? That... That's the same window from which I saw the beautiful lights. <laughs> the same ones you climbed through. I am... I am simply... Glad that you come back to me. It has been too long. Please, let me simply embrace you for a few moments longer. I have you now and wish not to let go. I love you, my lord. I always have and always will. I love you with all my being for what it's worth. Not a moment went by where I did not think of you. It has plagued my heart. Uh, well, where do I even start? When I made the decision to leave and had finally settled into that carriage, I, I felt so much dread. There were, there were no other words to describe how awful I felt. And... Once I arrived at the estate, well, they were pleased that I wanted to make them happy. I was content, or so I told myself to be. I had gotten used to their behavior and felt that this was the only option. I felt that I, I couldn't escape. I, I couldn't possibly tell them no. I had met the Oro immediately, and I was afraid he would be awful, but... He wasn't as terrible as I feared him to be. I was extremely hesitant about the whole affair, but despite my reservations, I I moved on because I thought that I thought that this marriage would make my parents happy. But as soon as Orovatras left the estate grounds, well I I quickly understood. What a mistake it had been. Trying to satisfy my parents' desires all this time. My, my parents' kind and caring facade quickly faded, and I was thrown back up into the attic and set to work as a servant once more, even as a future countess. Every day became a slew of cruel words and accumulating bruises, and now I can truly say... And I hate them. With every bone in my body, I hate them. No. Avari has yet to step a foot out of her quarters and refuses to attend any social events. And yet, I am being punished for it. I'm being blamed for everything. I've never done a thing to interfere with Avari and the Marquise. Yet I'm the one being yelled at for a decision the Marquis made on his own. It is neither of our faults. I've never done anything wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. This does sound like me. If it is truly okay. I'm simply tired, my lord, of everything. I will never understand why their hate for me exists in such a drastic measure. They hate my existence, but, but why? I had faith that they would change, but it was nothing but a fruitless wish and nothing more. They've even taken me off my medicine. They simply don't want to spend the money on me, or they want me to suffer through my pains. But the more I go without it, the more these aches hurt. I can barely work without feeling sick to my stomach. My vision, it has been off. It was like the, it was like when they had cut me off my medicine when I was younger. Half a year before I came to your state. <sighs> Apologies. It has, it has simply been so difficult since I returned to my home. I regret leaving you. I regret it. But what was I to do, my lord? 
I'm, I'm sorry that I did that to you. God, I'm so sorry. Don't, I don't want to be here anymore. And I'll be off to wed a man I barely know. Their grip on my life will never cease, no matter what. So, what, what are we to do, my lord? I'm sorry. But, why are you even here? What happened to Lady Erin? Huh? But... That would be of such great offense, the Queen. Truly? It was a mutual decision, but... I... What of your parents? What has happened? I... This doesn't make any sense. Wait. Wait. What do you mean? I don't quite... I don't quite get it. Are, are we to run away with one another? But where? What of your title? To, to the capital? But please, I, I... I'm sorry, I just... I, I, I don't quite understand. Just slowly explain what has to happen. What has even happened? I'm... I'm not sure I fully understand you. I know that you like to jest, but is this truly the time to... We will... But will it be safe under the princess consort's roof? I don't know. To be so close within the vicinity of the woman you've crossed... She... she will be deposed of? Would she truly turn against her mother like that? But Princess Seiya has always been loyal to... Huh? Is this why you could not visit me? Is this what you and the others have been planning all this time? But then... How am I to be a key factor in all of this? How could I possibly be involved in a plot that forces Queen Despina off her throne? I, I, I simply cannot make heads or tails of this. No, you're starting to frighten me with all of this. It is... No, it's fine. It's simply the way it is. The affairs of this world are far beyond my knowledge, but but if I am to be involved in this mess, I must accept it. If this is what the gods have planned for me, then who am I to argue? But there's something else, isn't there? Something you haven't told me. What else? How much more could possibly be there? There can't be possibly m more. Could there? <sighs> My lord. I... I... You cannot be suggesting that my... Origins have been fabricated, but... But... This... All I've known my entire life, the Clarks... They... Despite the trauma they put me through, they are... My family by blood. Are they not? How could they not be? Who am I? If I am not Minnie Clark, then 
who? What is the proof of this? How could I have not known this entire time? I... I apologize, my lord. This... This is all so sudden. But I can... I can only think that you... You must be right. They have never loved me. Not once have I ever seen a spark of affection in my family's eyes. I have been nothing more than a nuisance to them. An opportunity to be used and exploited. I've poured so much of myself into this family, hoping that one day I could be loved as a daughter should be. But... If you are right, it has all been a lie. I am not a clerk. My affections and my efforts have all been to waste trying to satisfy a family such as theirs. This is why I have never been treated the same as Avari all this time. I thought I had done something wrong to make them abhor me. That I, as a child, a mere child, did something so egregious to make them regard me in such cruel and callous ways. But that's just how they sought to treat me. A child, not of their own blood. They are vile people. <gasps> I'm, I'm fine, my lord. I'm simply taken aback by all of this, but it just makes sense. But what am I to do, then? What do we do? Uh, yes, we must leave. We must hurry before the others awaken. I need to leave this dreadful place. I simply want to leave with you. Take me away. Please, I must find out the truth of who I am. And I suppose you must know more by the looks of it. No, I trust you. I always have. Just let us leave. You may explain more later when we are more settled. I have many questions, but I've heard enough for now. Yes. Yes. I'm ready to leave with you. Some nights, you know, I struggled without you. I wonder if I could see a life without you. But I couldn't. You are all I want. I care for nothing else. Not my family. Not all the riches in the world. If I have you, that is enough. I'm sorry I did not leave earlier. But I can be selfish now, right? So no matter how difficult this journey will be, no matter who this hurts, I just want to be selfish for once. I want you. And I want to be with you. And now that I finally have you again, I will never, ever let you go. I promise. Now let's hurry. It will only be a few minutes' time of packing. But just promise me this one final thing. Take my hand and never let it go again. Yes, and I promise to never let go of yours either. I am yours, my lord, as you are mine.